All right, hi everyone. Uh, we're going to be making quick carrot bread today. And for that, we need two and a half cups of carrots, grated, two cups of flour, three quarter cup of walnuts, three eggs, one cup of sugar, baking soda, a teaspoon and a half, a half teaspoon of pumpkin spice, and one teaspoon of salt and a cup of oil and I'm going to be using avocado oil. So let's get started by grating the carrots. Then we're going to need a teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right so we shredded the carrots and now we're going to mix our dry ingredients. And that's two cups of flour, a cup of sugar, teaspoon and a half of the baking soda teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of the pumpkin spice and a teaspoon and a half of the cinnamon We're going to get all that mixed together. We're going to put that aside and now we'll work on the wet ingredients. So we're going to start off with the three eggs. A quarter cup of milk. teaspoon of vanilla extract and three quarter cup of the avocado oil whisk this together I'm also going to get the oven going and I'm going to set it to 350 all right let's add in the dry ingredients And I'm running it through the sieve so I do not get any clumps. I guess I could have added the sugar in separately. Alright, make sure there's no clumps in there. Alright, all done. And I'll get it all mixed in. All right, ready to mix in the carrots. And we're ready for the pecans. You can either use pecans or walnuts. All right, and we're ready to get this into a loaf pan. All right, I'm going to grease the pan with some avocado oil spray, and we'll just do it lightly. And get it all spread in there. Alright, that's ready to go into the oven. So we're going to bake this at 350 uh, for about 40 minutes. If you're using a loaf pan, then you want it in there for about 55 to 
65 minutes. We'll be right back. All right, the carrot cake is done. We just need to check it to be sure. And as you can see, the knife came out dry. So we'll give this about 10 or 15 minutes to cool down a little bit. And then we'll cut into it and see what it looks like. All right, that took a little bit of work, but I managed to get them out. So I had to use this and just kind of gently get them out. But as you can see, they rose like they're supposed to, and they're nice and soft. And I think for next time, I'll take them out a little bit sooner. So let's cut into this one and see what it looks like. And they're still a little warm. You wait for it to completely cool off, it's not going to be this flaky. That's really pretty. You can see the pecans and the carrots. And they're quite tasty. Not too sugary. Alright, that's it for now.